Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at trig equations and uh, basically we're trying to look for what's called a general solution to a trig equation, which basically means that the domain is unrestricted. Uh, normally a lot of trig equations have a restricted domain between like 0 and 360 degrees or 0 and 2 pi radians. So you can see here we've drawn uh, the sine curve uh, and also a line y equals a half. And uh, basically what we are after today is we're basically after the solutions. Where are they equal? And you know, I'm just putting little purple circles around now, these values which we're after. Okay. So these are, if you like, the solutions we're after, and they are going to form a pattern. And what we're really after in general solutions is a, a sort of a pattern descriptor, something that describes the pattern, and we have a, like a n in them. The n, this is an integer value, okay, and which can go through cycles through the, all the integers, basically. So let's actually quickly try and do this one. We know that theta, if we just do this on a calculator, we get inverse sine a half, and uh, that's about 30 degrees. So this should be, so we should get uh, pi on 6. Okay, which you can see here. This is this one here. Okay, this one here is pi on 6. Okay. The next one you can see is actually, uh, well, it's, uh, since they're symmetrical, it's actually 5 pi and 6. Actually, pi and 6 uh, prior to pi. Uh, then we go across to uh, 2 pi, and then we go forward pi on 6. So that's, uh, what's that, 12, 13 pi on 6. Okay. And then uh, we go uh, off uh, again. Uh, you can see here it's um, backwards from... Uh, one, two, three pi. So this is, the, you, if you have a quick look, these little round uh, red circles are actually, these are the pi values. That's uh, one pi, here's two pi, here's three pi. And you can see here that this value is actually uh, basically pi on six prior to three pi, uh, three, six or 18. So it'd be, say, 17 pi on six. Okay, so these are just some of the solutions, and you can go backwards as well. Now, we have to try and now work out what's called a, a pattern descriptor for these, um, if you like, solutions. Which, um, so, um, it is a little bit tricky uh, because if you have a quick look, the sine one is the hardest one, I think. Uh, if you look at pi, you actually go up, you go back. Uh, if you go to 2 pi, you go forward, and you go 3 pi, you go back. Okay. So, you go over here at minus pi, you go back, and here go forward, well, so you go forward at minus pi, uh, okay, in fact, no, <laughs> at minus pi you go back, and at uh, minus 2 pi uh, you go forward, so perhaps I should say that, uh, it's a bit, uh, so this is actually minus pi here, and this is minus 2 pi, so um, you are actually um, going backwards, I guess, at minus pi, you're going, and you're going forward at minus 2 pi. Now, okay, so, how are we going to get these uh, general solutions? Well, it's all to do with, uh, obviously, the pi's, multiples of pi. So, first thing, we'd normally write a solution. Okay, solution is equal to, okay, n pi. Now, the trouble is, uh, okay, if we're at an um, odd-numbered pi, we have to go back. So, an odd-numbered pi and an even-numbered pi, we have to go forward. So, how do we get an oscillator? Well, we just use minus 1 to the n, okay? Minus 1 to the n will be positive or negative depending on the value of n, and if n is even, as you know, it'll be uh, positive, so that'll push us forward. And then we have to go, uh, obviously, in here, this would be sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.5, which we know is pi on 6, so we'd have a pi on 6 here, the angle times pi on 6. So this would be what's called the general solution in this particular case, okay, for sine theta equals 0 0.5. And we can have n as any integer, so n can be positive or negative, and we can go backwards and forwards and just generate a whole pattern or a list, if you like, of solutions. Okay. So let's actually have a quick look at um, if we have sine theta equals alpha, um, again, all we say is, okay, theta is equal to n pi, okay, plus the, uh, well, moving backwards and forwards part, and then we have to go uh, sine to the minus 1 of alpha, okay. So this would be an angle here. Uh, okay. So alpha is a number, if you like, and theta is, in fact, an angle. So this sine to the minus 1 of the number alpha is, in fact, uh, going to be an angle. So an angle. Sometimes I see it written like this. I see uh, sine theta equals sine alpha. 
and then theta would be equal to n pi plus okay, the oscillator, and then we we'll just have an alpha here. Sometimes that's uh, a nice uh, way of writing it as well. Okay, now we're going to go on to cos now, so let's have a look at cosine. Okay, now here we have uh, again cos theta equals 0 0.5. You can see the graphs now change to a cosine curve, and we still have a y value of um, what, 0 0.5. And uh, we're again going to be after, well, looking for again uh, the intersections, if you like, or where these uh, two graphs uh, cross over each other. Okay. These are going to be our solutions, okay, our theta value solutions. Now, uh, so what is the first one? Well, let's have a look here. Okay, you can see it's near one radian. Okay, but uh, you know, we have our exact value triangles, and we know that this would be uh, pi on three. Okay, so we, we know one solution, theta, okay, would be what, pi on three. Okay, okay, that's pi on three, uh, and as you know, pi is about. Uh, 3.14, so it's roughly about 1. Now, we can see here there's another solution. Now, again, uh, let's have a quick look. Okay. At 0, we are going, okay, at 0 pi, we go, ah, uh, oh, crikey, we're going backwards and forwards. Okay. Uh, okay, there's nothing around here. Okay, but here, we go backwards and forwards. Okay, so we've got a situation we are looking at certain values of pi, which you'll see are the even values of pi. So basically, let's put in those values again. So that's 0, this, uh, 0 here, and this is pi. Uh, this is uh, 2 pi and 3 pi. OK, and this is minus pi and minus 2 pi. And you can see what we're doing is we're actually going to the even pi's. OK, so we're going to the even pi's, go backwards and forwards. OK to get the solutions, okay, backwards and forwards. So we have a plus and a minus situation occurring, okay. But we need to actually put in our general solution uh, something that makes sure that uh, we are on an even pi. So how we normally do that is we go like theta is equal to, okay, uh, let's actually try and draw that a bit. Uh, okay, so theta would equal, now, to make it sure it's an even, we go 2n pi, and then we put a plus or minus. In, the, in this case, it'll be plus or minus pi on 3. So let's actually put some other uh, solutions in. So it'll be 2 pi plus pi on 3, and 2 pi minus pi on 3. That is 6, so it's uh, 5 pi on 3, and uh, that's so 6 pi, well, pi on 3, so it's 7 pi on 3. Okay, you can see here, and we can just keep on going. But this is what's called the the general solution for the cosine of theta. Okay, okay, and that would basically, if you have a look, uh, say we have a cosine theta equals equal to alpha, then theta is equal to what? Two n pi. Okay, make sure we're on an even uh, numbered pi, and then we have to go backwards and forwards, plus or minus. Now in this case, it would be cos to the minus one of uh, alpha. Okay, which would, uh, as you know, it would be an angle. Now, sometimes, as I said, uh, sometimes I see this as well, uh, cos theta equals cos alpha. And again, uh, you know, theta is equal to 2n pi. Again, backwards and forwards from that uh, even multiple of pi. And then we just have an alpha here. Okay. All right, so let's go on to tan. Okay, uh, tan. Now, have a look at tan. Now, you can see here, this is tan theta. I've changed it to 1 now instead of a half. And you can see because we all can see that, obviously, theta, uh, everyone knows this one, t inverse tan of 1 is 45 degrees, or if you like, pi on 4 radians. Okay. And we know that, uh, let's have a look at the values of pi. So that's 0 pi, this is pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, uh, okay, minus pi, and uh, if you like, uh, minus 2 pi. Now you can see... Uh, if you just have a quick look, we are always going forward, forward from the value of pi, forward, 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 okay, because as you know, what we're after is these values here. These are the values we're after, okay, okay, we're after these values, okay.
there are solutions to where tan theta equals 1. And let's have a quick look. So it would be what? Put some more in 5 pi, 1, 4. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, 9 pi and 4. Okay. Okay. So we are going to each value of pi and just going forwards okay, by the angle. Okay, so how we write that is we say, okay, uh, we'd say uh, theta is equal to, now we want every single value of pi, so it's n pi, and we always want to go forward, so we're always going forward, so we have a plus, not a plus and minus, so we go forward by that angle, in this case it would just be pi on 4. Okay, so what would the general solution to this be? Well, obviously we'd just uh, have a look at this one, uh, we have that theta, okay, we want to go to every single pi, n pi, and we just want to go forward, plus, in this case, it would be tan to the minus 1 of alpha. Okay. All right. Now, if it was, uh, say, alpha was an angle, and we're thinking of alpha, alpha as a, a number here, but if you had uh, tan theta is equal to, say, tan of alpha, of alpha, then the general solution is written as theta equals n pi uh, plus just alpha. Okay. So this would be a general solution for uh, tan theta is equal to some value, normally a number. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching. This is a, just a quick uh, look at how the general solutions are derived, and I'll do some examples uh, further down the track. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.